What's up, YouTube? First and foremost, shout out to Alien Army. Raise up, stand up, hit a like button, and definitely drop a comment. If you don't know what Alien Army is, those are people that rock with me heavy, they rock with me tough. They always hit the like button and drop a comment. They're always subscribed as well, so, you know, really easy to join, subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment. If you don't know what to put as a comment, put an alien emoji, put a thumbs up, put a hi. Let me know if you're a new subscriber, uh, all that good stuff. I do respond to 99.9% .9 of my comments, so uh, don't waste your comments on big channels. Uh, thinking that you're going to get an answer. With me, being a small channel, it's really easy for me to answer comments or questions or whatever. And also, I do have a system in, uh, in place that if I do become a big channel, that I'll still be able to respond to you guys. You take the time to write something, I'm going to take the time to read it and respond. If you don't know, I am homeless. Um, you can check out my other videos. Um, uh, checking in, checking in. If you put that in the comment section as well. Uh, shout out to my donations. If you want to say, you know, bless me or show me love, my cash app is the same as my uh, you, uh YouTube name, Alien Ascend. I'll put that in uh, the description. Also, if you anybody that wants to send me a private message or chop it up, something that's probably like they don't want to put in the uh, comment section, if you just want to reach out to me, whatever, uh, my email, I'll put that in the, the description as well, but I'll tell you that the email now, uh, alienarmycontact at gmail.com. Gonna jump straight into this video. Um, first, I think this is gonna be a story time where I talk about uh, how I met my friend Angel, who I've talked about so much, um, and stuff like that. But uh, I'm gonna do a quick update uh, so you guys aren't just, you know, waiting around. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> waiting around wondering what happened. So I had that job interview. Uh, as far as I was concerned, 99.9% .9 that I got the job. Interview went so well that uh, uh, I met the owner, <laughs> met the owner's wife. They showed me around. With, like there was a uh, very heavy conversations where it was like, "Hey, when you do, uh, you know, when you check in, you punch your card, you do this, you know, showing me the whole thing." Um, there was somebody who was already being interviewed before me and didn't get that treatment at all. Uh, that the basically said, we'll give you a call uh, to let you know, and they left. I went in there and afterward, and the interview went really well as far as I was concerned. I was 99.9% uh, sure that I got the job. Not, I'm, not that, I'm not that positive anymore though. But normally, uh, I hate waiting and trying to figure out if I got something or not, especially if I'm uh, very much in need. So what I thought in my head, and I've done this before with other jobs, is I'll flat out ask. I'm like, you know, hey, I have some other job offerings, but this is the job that I want. You know, what should I, you know, if, if you give me a little bit more feedback, I'd, I'd have a better idea of what I'm going to be doing in the future. You know, I would say something like that. Unless they make it pretty obvious. If they make it pretty obvious that I don't get the job, then why, uh, you know, don't, there's no need to ask something if you know the answer is no. You know what I mean? And the same thing about the answer is yes, if they make it obvious, you know. So I thought it was pretty obvious. I was 99.9%. .9%. Uh, didn't get a call the day of the interview, later on the day, like I thought I was. And I didn't get a call yesterday at, uh, at all uh, either. <clears throat> on that quick update, um, so uh, could I still call? Yeah. Could I follow up and, and call them later today or call them tomorrow? Well, I mean, I can't call them today. I don't think they're open on 4th of July. Or if they were, I think they closed early. But uh, uh, could call them tomorrow to find out my, uh, you know, I do I do have a little bit of a pride, uh, pride problem like, you know, why should I have to be calling to follow up? Like, you know, like you either want me to work or you don't, you know, like me calling isn't gonna sway your mind. You know, it, all, all it would be is, is basically, I, I'd find out if the answer is no quicker. And, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm battling that uh, mentally if I should call tomorrow or not. Let me know in the comments if you think I should call with a follow-up. I haven't heard anything, and I thought I thought I landed the job. And uh, every time that I've always had that feeling, I've always been correct. Um, or they could be taking a long time to call me. Who knows? Uh, I'm not sure. <sighs> I'll give you some other updates, uh, too, um, you know, uh, as far as my car. Uh, you know, there, there's something I want to talk about with my car, but I, I want my friend Angel uh, a part part of the video. She won't go on camera. She's been on. She's been in my video before, uh, and I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, I want I want her to, to uh, um, be a part of uh, what I talk about with the car, so you guys can get uh, the second person's opinion and uh, stuff like that. What, what what she might think and things like that, and then like talk about a crazy situation that I don't. I, I think if I just say it, it, it's too unbelievable. I think that if she was around, maybe you guys. Would me a little bit more but uh there's something big with it that i want to talk to you guys about uh so i'm going to put that on the back burner still got the car no check engine light on uh not really driving it very much um but uh another quick update is instead of um you know i was feeling pretty rejected uh like i was thought, i thought i was gonna get a call the day for that that interview and then i was hoping that at the very least that tomorrow you know yesterday not tomorrow but yesterday sometime i would have got a call um 
you know, uh, rejection sucks. <laughs> like wondering if you got a job or not, wondering if, you know, let's say, for example, a girl's going to call you or, you know, whatever. Uh, that stuff, uh, that stuff can be emotionally draining. Um, it can be hard on you, you know what I mean? Uh, so what I did was, is I got up really early and the first thing I did is I went downstairs, um, uh, in this hotel room. I, I have this hotel room until tomorrow. Uh, well, tomorrow's check out, but I've, I've been here, um, six days now. Uh, but went downstairs, uh, asked if there was any help uh, that they might need, that, uh, you know, uh, anything I could do to lower my bill here or, uh, you know, uh, cleaning, uh, security, uh, walking the lot, uh, helping the, the front desk. Basically, no, no jobs beneath me. And I asked them that and I was really cool with them. And they said that they actually get off, uh, asked that quite a bit and uh, they're, 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 they're fully staffed. So I said, okay. So then from, the, from there, I uh, wanted to go get myself a soda. I drove to the store and uh, went to the store, got myself a soda, and then uh, I was coming back and I was figuring out what I was going to do the, for the rest of that day. Upon doing so, I see somebody uh, with a U-Haul outside of their house and it looks like they're about to move. I thought perfect time, and this is a, a richer, uh, more nicer type area. So I thought perfect, I'll ask, uh, I'll ask them uh, you know, if they need help moving. And it, and it turned out very well. I didn't get uh, back to my hotel till about three o'clock last night might have been a little bit before three uh so basically from like eight nine and nine in the morning all the way uh i helped have these people move and uh they paid me very well so uh i don't mind sharing it it was uh 240 dollars uh from yesterday helping them move i used my own car to, to, to bring stuff as well but i was loading stuff from uh, inside their house to uh to the u-haul and then also taking it to their new house and uh uh they 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 were they had a couple days to, to move, but now they're officially moved. Everything's out of that house thanks to my help, and that's why I got paid. Uh, I basically told them the truth. Uh, you know, there's sometimes I won't say there's no shame in my game because it, you know I, I only do what what I consider is right. However, for being a shy person with anxiety and PTSD and stuff like that, um, I will myself to to, to move, keep moving forward. It isn't easy but I, I do it because I have to you know what I mean it's a necessary evil no matter how I feel inside uh, I face that music you know that's I've been like that my whole life you know uh, I don't run there's no shortcut home you know I, you do what you got to do right <clears throat> I went ahead and I just pulled my next one I was like hey you guys are moving like, yep I got out of the car I was like hey uh, I don't even remember how it all happened, but I, I remember getting out of the car and talking to them for a little bit. I'm like, you know, you know, this is a great area. Where, where you guys moving to? They thought I was just somebody just stopping, like one of their neighbors or something. But I'm just talking to them, and I, I, I thought I told them I was like, hey, I, I have nothing planned today. I'm actually hoping that, uh, you know, I had a job interview yesterday. I'm hoping they call me today. Um, you know, I do live in my car right now. I'm actually staying at, at this hotel. I got, uh, I got till Friday, and then I got a, a roll out. Uh, you guys pay me whatever you think is right. And they're like, yeah. And uh, they, they talked amongst themselves. Uh, what's kind of hard about that job was one, my body hurts really bad, like I'm sore. I'm not even gonna lie, standing on my feet, moving, carrying stuff all day. Uh, is uh, I'm helping uh, <laughs> basically a family that's a str that's, that's strangers, and they're having little family squabbles while I'm there, and that that was pretty uncomfortable. Um, but uh, just kept on uh, kept on moving and. Uh, it, Got him moved in, and of course, I let my, my friends know where I was at. So that's one of the updates. Um, uh, went ahead and uh, it was two hundred forty dollars. They cash hacked me it last night. Um, I was surprised. They, they're like, you know, they, they said several times, you know, like uh, I guess one of the biggest questions is, how long can you do this for? I go, uh, yeah, I'll do it until the job gets done. If that's what you want, if I got to, if I got to be out here till till five in the morning, then that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but at first they're like, no, no, you, you know, we'll probably we'll probably quit at about eight o'clock at night. But you know, we just kept the momentum going and, and whatnot. Uh, I already shot um, the two hundred dollars. Uh, I got this uh, hotel for a week, and you guys know that uh, I was uh, gonna pay back my friend Angel uh, two hundred. I think it was two hundred fifty four dollars for this week. Uh, I was gonna pay her back. I've never borrowed money from her ever. <laughs> I don't borrow people. People, yeah, I don't ever borrow money. Uh, one, because I can't borrow something that I'm not sure if I can pay back. And then number two, um, I've messed up my credit card so many times, I don't feel it's right. You know what I mean? Uh, if somebody wanted to offer or give me something, that's one thing. Me saying I, I'm going to pay you back actually puts me in a, in a, you know, could put me in bad standing, you know, and I don't want that. Nonetheless, uh, $240 something, dollars, I think it was 247 is what they cash at me. I can't look because I'm using my phone, but I went ahead and uh, paid her 200 bucks, shot her $200, and she was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, she was she was thrilled that uh, that, that I, I landed something. So 
I'm still hoping that job will call. Uh, what I what I don't want is is I don't want my pride to get in my way. And uh, like if I call and they say, oh, you have the job, and then I start wondering, were you going to give me the job before I called? You know, I don't know. I I'm, I'm weird like that. <laughs> Let me say I'm have some water real quick. All right, so those are the updates. Uh, hopefully you guys are all still rocking with me. Now I'm going to talk about um, uh, how I met my friend Angel. Very, very long time ago, I was still working. Um, uh, I was living out west. <clears throat> I was um, working in the medical field, like uh, like I talked about the other day. I've been doing that for, uh, I was doing that at the time, um, uh, close to 14 years, you know. It might have been a little bit longer. I, 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 I couldn't tell you. You know, I'd really have to go look at uh, all my paperwork. But I have, a, I have a pretty good feeling that it's about 14, 15 years is what I worked. <clears throat> I met her and her husband um, uh, basically at the same time. I played video games when I when I wasn't working, and this is a long time ago. Like I'd probably say about known her about her, her husband, and her her kids uh, about nine years. So uh, nine years ago, I was playing video games, and uh, somehow, some way, I got thrown in a Skype call. And uh, uh, you know, in the Skype call, we're all laughing, having a good time. That's how I, uh, I met her and her husband. I was chopping up with her husband that I had no idea and making him laugh and you know, we just messing around. Uh, we played a lot of different video games. Uh, Elder Ring or Elder Scrolls. Um, uh, I can't even think of all, all the names. I, I'll have to ask her. This is another part of this is I would love, uh, I might do a, another video where we talk about this where, where Angel's uh, next to me and she could help me remember some of this stuff or give me her two cents and I think it'd be entertaining for you guys. So that might be a, uh, that'll definitely probably be a future video. <sighs> but uh, nonetheless, uh, we became about, all of us became friends. We were in like the same kind of clans and stuff like that. And uh, I don't I don't think Discord was around back then, but I know Discord started to, to come popular at some point, but now we stayed on, stayed friends on Skype. And uh, we actually did like, it was like we knew each other pretty much instantly. You know, me, her and her husband, and uh, we had a great time, always chopping it up. And um, uh, I remember all sorts of conversations that we had that like brought us closer. Like, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how, I wish she was right here so she could tell me if I could talk about certain stuff or not, but a lot of deep conversations, you know, like, you know, uh, what issues she had with her family and, um, you know, things that, uh, you know, that she's experienced growing up, you know, she had a lot of uh, different questions and I, I don't have any kids, right? I've never had any kids in my whole life, um, but her actually asking parenting stuff to me, you know, and stuff like that. And then, um, of course, uh, she was there when um, my dog died, and I was uh, I was beside myself. Um, uh, I wish I could talk about more. <laughs> I wish I could talk a bit more about it, but uh, I'd probably start getting emotional. Um, it was uh, it was a very tragic thing that happened to my dog. Um, but uh, loved my dog a whole lot, and I was I was beside myself uh, when he passed. Um, nonetheless, uh, we were all talking, uh, and became friends. We I always just thought like. I had friends, I had feelings like towards them, like, you know, like, like they were like real friends and stuff like that, right? However, I just thought it was uh, internet and like, you know, it was like, I never thought in a million years we'd all meet and, you know, stuff like that, right? But um, eventually what happened was um, uh, her and her husband were gonna go to a shotgun wedding in Las Vegas. Um, I, I, I lived in the West, uh, West uh, I lived in the West Coast and they, they thought about uh, asking me to come out there and, uh, and hanging out with them, right? But they also knew that, uh, there was times where I, I, I bitched about money where I'm like, you know, man, I need to find another side job or this job isn't very good. Or, you know, like, you know, I, my car was, uh, you know, like it wasn't freeway worthy, you know, you know, regular normal conversations, you know what I mean? Just like everybody else, just living paycheck to paycheck. It's basically what I'm saying, right? <clears throat> um, so the shotgun wedding, and I call it shotgun, shotgun wedding because it kind of like, they got invited, um, like, uh, Angel, and by the way, I should uh, give J Val a shout, out, shout outs to him. He's the one who nicknamed her Angel. I was thinking of a, a good name for her, and I couldn't think of anything. And he put it in the comments, you should call her, uh, call her Angel because she's like an angel. That's extremely fitting. And uh, shout out to J Val. Um, nonetheless, uh, everybody threw in, and this is without me knowing, everybody threw in, to, and she was a bridesmaid. Uh, so, uh, uh, her uh, her homegirl was getting married, you know, her close friend or whatever, uh, was going to get married, and she was going to be a bridesmaid, and um, everybody that was going to go ahead and go all through in, and they got different uh, hotel rooms, uh, hotel rooms all from the same hotel, and they were all next to each other and things like that. 
one per person's and there was no refunds, right? <clears throat> so if you threw in money and you decide that you couldn't go later, you weren't gonna get any refund, but they probably utilize uh, the the hotel room, right? And that's what happened. Somebody ended up not going, and they were uh, her and her husband was already uh, contemplating on inviting me. Uh, but they were worried where I, where would I stay? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got invited, and uh, when I got invited, uh, they said, uh, you know, this this being it was short notice too. It was like within like just a few days, you know, when I, when I got asked. Uh, and they're like, you know, you we got you know you gotta have your own hotel room. You know, uh, we'd love to meet you, and, and you know we're gonna be out here for a few days. Can you do this? I managed to go ahead and do it. I actually uh, got on the plane and fl and flew there. Right? Never been on a plane. Uh, that was the very first plane I ever been on in my life. I've been on lots of them now. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, might have probably might have flown uh, 40 50 times been on a plane maybe more I, I can't remember <clears throat> nonetheless um, I flew there they met me there and now we're in person and now we're just chopping it up and having a great time I also meet some of their other friends that had flew in for that wedding we're all having a great time uh, the lady getting married <laughs> uh, didn't like me at all uh, she didn't like me. This is a funny enough story. Is um, uh, she didn't like me because I was giving a homeless man a couple of dollars, and uh, they were talking shit, and I had no idea. Saw her giving me a dirty ass look. Uh, there was a homeless man uh, that was opening uh, the door for people walking in, uh, and it was uh, in and out. So like I, I told them, like none of them had been to the West Coast before. I was like, you guys all got to try in and out. It's my favorite hamburger place. So um, when we land, um, you know. I, I don't think it was that, that very day, but um, you know, while we're there, uh, getting to know each other and, and you know, all that stuff, I was like, hey, in and out, who's down? You know, like I, I, I'm taking my friends too, because you know, the other people that I, I wasn't too uh, close with, of course they came, and uh, of course the, the people getting married. Um, there was a guy who was homeless, he was opening the door for everybody. I ordered myself a second hamburger and I was gonna go ahead and give it to the guy. Nobody nobody knew that I've always been on, um, you know, I have a soft spot to, to people that are struggling like that. So I bought a hamburger and um, we had to wait for our, our um, you know, our number to be called or whatever, you know. And uh, so I go ahead and I walk, uh, I walk outside and at this point, um, after my ordering it, uh, the guy's out there and he's eating a hamburger. And uh, so he already got himself food. I told him I ordered him a, a hamburger as well. And, uh, and that uh, when I got it ordered, I, I, I go ahead and give it to him and I give him a couple dollars. I think it was literally like two one dollar bills is all I had in my wallet that was cash and I give it to him. I was doing that, they were looking at me and uh, no, I had no idea that anybody was even paying attention to me. Um, Angel and her husband both were like, man, you know, Ellen's got a real soft spot because I'm out there and I'm making that guy laugh and I'm talking to him. Yeah, I was giving him encouragement words. I told him that I was homeless before and that, you know, that you know, I was just t talking to him how I wish that, uh, you know, somebody would talk to me when I've been in bad situations, you know. <clears throat> um, even on that point, when he was eating, um, I asked him if he smokes, I don't smoke cigarettes. I asked him if he smoked cigarettes and he said, yeah. So while uh, he was still eating his hamburger, uh, if I saw somebody walking by smoking, I'd ask him for a cigarette and I'd hand it to him. You know, like I said, it's the kind of person I am. I, I, I'm really against smoking cigarettes. I can't stand the way they smell. Um, I do have some friends that smoke, but um, you know, yeah. While somebody's eating, I, you know, my mom smoked. But my mom smoked my whole time, uh, my whole life growing up. Um, so I, I've been around it, and you know, I've bought her cigarettes before too. I, I, I used to be 14 years old going to the store getting her cigarettes. Believe it or not, I, you know. I, I, even when I was like six years old, I remember pulling up the gas stations and telling me to get out, uh, you know, get out of the car and, uh, you know, point, you know, point, you know, this is my mom. She wants two packs of Palm Oil Gold 100s. You know what I'm saying? And it's funny enough, I can still remember what, what she smoked when I was a kid. I don't know what she smokes now. I, I don't pay attention. Uh, nonetheless, <clears throat> we, uh, we all had a really great time and uh, we really got to know each other very, very well. After that trip, um, uh, a little bit afterwards, um, she was her job was actually sending her where, where where I lived at, you know, same state, just a little bit further away, <clears throat> and uh, she had to go there for a week. You know, sometimes it was a, a weekend trip, sometimes it was a week, and um, you know, uh, I, th I think I remember picking her up from the airport uh, quite a few times and stuff like that. I think in the beginning they were renting her a car or telling her to do Uber or um, you know her rent a car and then she get reimbursed. I didn't get into the finances, but I pick her up from the airport, take her to a hotel room, and then um, you know us becoming friends. One uh, one time that she got sent there was um, uh, they had a, uh, a, Chris, uh, a Christmas party, and um, one of the biggest things. Uh, uh, with jobs is it's not always what you know it's who you know and that was what was really important for her was to get to know everybody uh 
from the West Coast team, right? Then, uh, excuse me, and then uh, getting to know them all and becoming friends with them and, you know, doing their, their job functions, you know, solidified her and then, you know, uh, maybe something would come out of it. And then also they really needed her help, you know. Um, and uh, remember that uh, Christmas party, uh, at the same time my family had a Christmas party, I took her to that Christmas party. She's very good, uh, even to this day, Angel's uh, very good friends with my mother. Um, and uh, like she met, uh, she met all my family, um, you know, uh, her husband couldn't come to on some of those trips because somebody's got to stay back and watch the kids. You know what I'm saying? And also the, the her company was only paying for her flight, nobody else's. I even went to some of her company functions uh, while we were out there. <clears throat> One of them, you know, like yeah, it was really really cool and stuff like that. So nonetheless, we you know that's that's how I met uh, met her and uh, you know that friendship kept moving uh, moving forward. Uh, I'll probably save a lot of the details for when she's actually around, but uh, I do want to jump into, um, you know, how I started working uh, with her. Uh, like, she got me basically a job uh, doing that internet media marketing stuff, and I'd like to tell you how that uh, that all started. It all started, um, she uh, she wanted some, she needed help with her, uh, her work stuff. She asked me if I could help, um, help uh, her and her boss out by doing some um, some light data entry, but really her leads management and uh, like her lead, like the way that they were capturing leads, the leads needed to be uh, like an intake. So an intake system with uh, with a bunch of people, but they they were losing a lot of money and losing a lot of clients because it wasn't being inputted into their system. Then their system needed to be uh, like their CRM, customer relation uh, customer relationship management, and that intake needed to happen. And that somebody uh, used to work there but quit, and, and he and this was uh, that person's. Uh, you know what he was supposed to do and that a lot of the stuff and the information they put in there was wrong so somebody had to go ahead and kind of audit um, audit the last 90 days something like that she asked me if I would do it and I said sure I asked her how much she's like I don't know but uh, I'll get you on the phone with my boss and we'll all talk about it he said sure he's like yeah I um I told uh, I told them I was like well I kind of I kind of need to know what I was going to get paid so I could see uh, you know I could I wanted to know, I don't remember all the reasons, but I wanted to know what I was going to get paid, you know, and I, I, I don't remember getting a straight answer. I think it was something like they said, uh, you know, a hundred or two hundred dollars a week, something like that. I worked for uh, two and a half weeks and I never got paid. <clears throat> I didn't get paid at all. And I, uh, she was thrilled about the job I did when there were several times with that two and a half weeks. We did group meetings where it was me, her and the boss and uh, maybe a couple of other uh, employees that he had at the time. Uh, he doesn't call people just employees he calls everybody a part of his team you know that's just the way he is uh, there's a lot of people out there like that <clears throat> I didn't get paid and uh, at the two and a half uh, week mark that's when I told Angel I said uh, I said well um, everything's cool I go I go he's not he's not paid me he's not answering me um, I'm you know he's lucky this is business um, you know, I said things like that, you know, it's like it's business. I go, um, I'm glad that I was able to help you out, but I'm not going to do anything more because he hasn't paid me. And then she's like, oh, he will pay you. And if he doesn't pay you, I'll pay you. And I'm like, Angel, I, I don't want your money. I go, this is the, this, this is the principle of stuff. He said that he was going to pay me and, uh, I don't, I, I don't get it. You know, maybe the first two weeks I was like, I was lenient. I worked for two weeks. You didn't give me anything. I'm not going to continue working, uh, and the guy was cheap. He was cheap, and uh, you know, I, I I knew right off the bat that um, you know, like I know a trader before they know the, themselves. I knew he was a he was a scumbag. You know, like I can't put the whole thing on scumbag because he didn't scumbag. I mean, like that was in the beginning. I felt as he he's probably scumbagged a lot of people, but there's some, a lot of people that he didn't. So he's not a complete scumbag. I guess that's the best way I could say it. You know, he, he had some, uh, to be polite and to probably be, uh, you know, actual, uh, not um, not biased. He had some um, he had some scumbag ways that I, I didn't appreciate and I really didn't like very much. So uh, I went ahead and uh, didn't work for him and uh, left it like that. Um, a little bit uh, later, uh, Angel had to have a surgery and um, that was, uh, it was a pretty pretty intense surgery she uh, she went through. And uh, with the surgery, she asked me because I had already logged, like when I did all this stuff, I was logged into her names for the customer relationship management. I was logging into her work email so I could actually go through all the leads and organize everything. She said that she doesn't know how long her recovery time is gonna be and everything else. And uh, could I uh, could I keep up with her email and uh, could, I, uh, could I do everything for her? 
and she said, I'll pay you. And I said, uh, I said I'll said i do it, you don't pay me anything, I just need you to, to, to recover yourself. Uh, she, I was the only person she trusted to do that stuff. Uh, by the way, just to let you know that he did eventually, like he gave her 500 bucks to give to me, and I told her to, uh, that, that she could tell, uh, tell that guy to shove that money up his ass, is what I said. I said, uh, <clears throat> uh, I said, I said, I don't want that money. I was like, uh, you know, he had a chance with, to pay me. He didn't pay me. I just don't want nothing to do with the guy. I don't do business that way. She kept the money. She's like, she's like, I'm not gonna give him the money back. You either take it or I'm gonna keep it. And I said, you keep it then. I said, I don't want it. You know, it's the same thing where, uh, you know, I do not want somebody to, to send me a donation on the cash app and say something nasty to me. Like, if you're gonna say something nasty to me and give me money, I would wish that you're, you and that comment or the nastiness, that, that money doesn't touch the good money where, where it came from a place of, uh, of niceness. I don't want it if you're gonna be rude or, or nasty to me. I don't want that money if you, if you were gonna try to scam me and now you change your mind and you wanna give me the money. Like, I'm not, I'm not cool with that. Excuse me, I got some water. So um, I go ahead and I do that, and I think it was about a couple of weeks. Her, sur her surgery went well; everything was cool. Not only that, I stayed on top of everything. I organized her email. I did a bunch of stuff that she didn't ask me to do, but I knew that would help her out. You know, that's the kind of person I am at. You know, if if a friend tells me, oh, not tells me, but if a friend asks me to to wipe a counter off. Do I just wipe the counter off, or if I see that there's dishes, I'm gonna go ahead and move those dishes, I'm gonna wash those dishes. If I saw that the trash needs to be put out, I know that I was just only asked to wipe the counter, but I see other stuff that you, you need help with, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. That's just the kind of person I am. So I saw that there's a bunch of other stuff that, you know, I organized all our clients in her folders and her work email. I went ahead and did all sorts of stuff. I cleaned up the customer relationship management. I did all the stuff with bells and whistles, and I was just doing it to, to, to help her. You know what I mean? <clears throat> she gets uh you know when she's uh, all good and well she logs in her system and she goes oh my god alien you know she's thrilled i had all these updates of every single like person that she was talking to at uh, me following up with them and basically doing uh you know a lot of like there's a lot of stuff that uh, with that job that particular job with her that um uh, I, sh I should also rewind real quick when she was being sent towards me this wasn't the job that was doing it this is her second job so she was working two full-time jobs at that time. There's times where she's had four jobs at the same time. She's she's like a workaholic. Um, a lot of that stuff happened after what happened with 2020. Um, 2020 uh, ended up hurting her pretty bad. It hurt, ended up hurting me pretty bad as well. And then when it hurt her really bad, M moving forward, she's uh, like she's always she always works really a whole lot. And she's also a fantastic mother. And she you know she's really good uh, to her husband and everything else. And they got like all these family stuff going on. You know she's always on the go. That's probably that's why uh, it's hard for me to get a get a, do a video with her even if she's just going to be talking and not having on camera uh, is because because uh, her phones never stop ringing. Her phones are ringing and she's got to answer questions, you know, for job related stuff. And then she's got family stuff, you know, uh, she's extremely busy. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, that's just the way it is though. And I, I do my best to not, uh, you know, uh, bother her or be a burden to her or anything like that. But, um, you know, she's always on the go. So nonetheless, um, uh, she, she's absolutely thrilled that I did all that stuff to, uh, that, uh, you know, on her end and fixed everything. Um, she was like, dude, I gotta pay you, I gotta pay you. I'm like, no, 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 that's no, fine, just just heal yourself. Uh, they uh, were gonna uh, move their customer relationship manage management to, um, uh, you know, their CRM. They were gonna uh, move it from the company they were using to a new, uh, a new software. And um, that's a lot of work. They had lots and lots of files and everything else. He uh, he asked her if she would be doing uh, willing to do that, and she said, "I think she said uh, it would take me way too long to do this and work on everything I'm doing, and then hold down my family and hold down my other job, and uh, and everything else." Um, and he brought up Alien. She said, "Alien would Alien would not even accept a thousand dollars from you right now if you offered it to him. He wants nothing to do with you." And he's like, "Is he really that uptight and that serious?" And she said, "When it comes to money, yeah." You know, when somebody gives you gives a word, he'll, he'll understand. Like he's like, you know, if, if he's like, he feels that you weren't going to pay him at all because you weren't answering him after two and a half weeks. He's like, he's like, it, who in the world does that to somebody? If you work for somebody for over two weeks and you don't pay them and you don't express that you are going to pay them, but you were going to pay them at a certain time, he's like, he thinks you're a scam artist. He doesn't want shit to do with you. He look at look what look at all the stuff that he did underneath the system to help me while I was uh, you know when I had surgery and I was recovering for a couple of weeks, you know. 
and uh, he was like, do what you can, um, I want him. And uh, he's like, either it's gonna be him or uh, I, I don't know. And she was telling him at the time, like, we have people's credit card uh, information on file. We have people's social security, full, full social security cards on file. We have a lot of stuff and all this stuff needs to be encrypted. And this is not something that you send, um, you know, uh, offshore and you pay $2 for some kind of virtual assistant that can touch this information. This is sensitive information. You, we need an American. Uh, first, you gotta be American because if they do anything, they can use the law. You know what I'm saying? Like if you were some Chinese virtual assistant, if you stole all that stuff, good luck trying to get them in trouble. You know, they basically have immunity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we need an American and we also need an American that we can trust. The only person that popped up was alien, the only person who was ever logged into these systems and was able to do something, the only person that you screwed over. So uh, it took some, it definitely took some convincing. She actually logged in. She was just like, I really want to talk to you. She told me, uh, you know, all her concerns. She uh, logged in and she showed me um, uh, firsthand the money she was making with that company. And she said, you know, there is opportunity here. This is, this is what I'm making and let me show you. And she was sharing her screen with me, showed me, um, you know, what she was making. And she's like, she's like, even though he did that, he, he, he doesn't know. He, you know, and when, when she was saying that, I was like, I was like, I know this is the type of person to step over dollars to pick up pennies. He would have, he would have loved not paying me, but you had to fight him for it, um, and and I, I wouldn't even accept the money. And um, you know, she was like, you know, this this could be really good. You know, you never know where the future, you know, future holds. And you know, she's like, you'd also be doing me a great favor. She's like, I'll get him on the phone right now and make a promise to pay you, and and uh, you know, he could even pay you, uh, pay you up front. You know, and I said okay. So we did. Uh, she called him. He apologized to me. He said they would never do that ever again. And uh, moving forward, he never screwed with my money at all, uh, which was good. And then uh, so I ended up uh, doing um, <clears throat> the data stuff where I was moving all the information from one CRM to the next. Upon doing so, I was working very closely with her to find out, um, you know, the, the, the like what could help them um, automation-wise, you know, like from their back office stuff and things like that. I um, and then I, I talked about where. Uh, I emailed uh, from his website I sent him an email so I went to his website went to this email looked like a potential client and upon doing so I asked for somebody to reach out to me by either giving me a phone call or an email he never got that email and I asked him to go and check that website as well his own website to send an email because he's like yeah uh, I haven't been getting any leads or anything new and uh, and whatnot. It was a WordPress website. He got me the information to log in. Uh, the, everything in there was antiquated, never ta uh, never kept up. He paid over seven and a half thousand dollars for somebody to make that website, and they took full advantage of him. They never even updated any of the the um, uh, like uh, updated anything. Basically, got that money and told him that he wasn't very tech savvy with stuff at all. He didn't understand any of that crap. <clears throat> totally took advantage of him and whatnot. And then I had a conversation where I'm like. I'm not going to charge seven and a half thousand dollars, but I'm also not going to, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I, I need everybody on like, you know, I, I don't need to pay for, for, for your old baggage basically. Like just because this person did it, I don't know. And, and I'll show you how, you know, like what, what the, it was a, a female um, website uh, creator and he was still paying her uh, X amount of money uh, a month to be the webmaster and there was so many things that I, I could pull up and say look at this needed to be updated this didn't need to be updated look at you see this big red warning sign right here this is a very clear indication they need to go ahead and do stuff you know and uh i worked for him for uh, quite some time and i talked about a whole lot of stuff that i did with them um i uh i, I did ppc pay-per-click um uh ads for him i actually did a a, a facebook video like I, I did facebook ads for him that was in the beginning and um i recorded my voice and i put a slideshow i didn't want to be on camera and i was asking him to go ahead and record himself and him do it since he, he's the face of the company and everything else he didn't he didn't do it right and i didn't like it so i recorded it and i did it in the very first day got him a lead that lead paid off instantly made a bunch of money with that right on top of that Facebook ads were, were different uh, a few years ago I could do certain demographics and really uh, hone in on the, the target audience that needed to, to hear his message on top of all that stuff that my even though my video was uh, was a pay-per-click people still shared that all over there uh, all over Facebook and everything else they shared it over there and that video basically I would I would consider uh, going viral you know there was something like over um, 600,000 um, uh, 
uh, views that didn't that, that didn't cost us anything. That was all organic from people uh, passing that video along. So, so I mean, is it viral? I think I think a, a million or two million is considered viral. But I got them six hundred thousand uh, extra um, views that were spread to everybody else. And I told them before Facebook changed a bunch of the rules. Uh, you know, it was cheap about stuff. There were some months that that uh, the marketing budget was only sixty to one hundred twenty bucks. And with that, I was still bringing in a man twenty thousand dollars a month on on uh, on clients. So that was just his budget. <laughs> so the guy was very very cheap. He it really felt like he was he handed me a BB gun to go uh, to go hunting with. You know what I mean? But uh, that's basically a you know good storytelling with uh, with, with my friend Angel. Uh, I have to I'll have to do a, a video with her or ask her what you know is there anything that she doesn't want me to bring up you know what I mean like with me I don't mind bringing everything up I'm sure that there are certain uh, things that you know that maybe she's uncomfortable with but then again she's not on the camera I just really would wish that she'd be uh, next to me and doing this and you guys could hear from her and that definitely will happen in the future but uh, if you watch out this uh, watch the video this far uh, in the comment section put uh, put uh, purified P U R I F I messed that up, man. <laughs> Type in purified, P-U-R-I-F-E-D, I think. F-I-E-D. Man, I'm stupid. I'm, I'm really tired and I'm really like, uh, my body hurts from, from all the, the moving that I did yesterday. Um, I might make some other uh, uh, YouTube shorts of me cooking here for 4th of July or some cool fireworks stuff. Um, but yeah, type, in, type the word purified. If you watch this far, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I want to thank everybody so much.